Well, it is 642 and the National Quilt Museum in Paducah reopened this week and there's some new exhibits for both returning guests and for new ones. Brooke Slyer is live this morning with a preview for us. Brooke. Good morning, Evie. Well, the exhibit is called Our Story. It touches on basic human rights. You know, previously I showed you that quilt that touched, touched on universal health care, which has been, you know, a hot topic right now with COVID going on. It's been brought up a lot lately. And the interesting thing about this exhibit is that the uh, National Quilt Museum here has been trying to get this, it's been in the works for a couple of years. So it just kind of incidentally kind of, you know, falls into line with things that we're talking about right now in society. And so I want to talk about some other of the quilts around here and we kind of got drawn to this one right here. So again, talking about basic human rights, our story. So just kind of touch about what this exhibit is all about. Sure. So there's about 35 quilts in this exhibit and they're all different perspectives on human rights from individual issues like the medical issue we discussed earlier to Indian rights, to race issues, to global issues regarding equal rights for all humans. The piece that we have here is entitled Colorblind, and what it's about is the innocence of youth and how people when they're at this age do not see race and see everybody as equals to them. The exhibit, every piece really is about a specific thing that all has to do with people's plights toward human rights and what we deal with today and back in history. And are there any other quilts here that you kind of wanted to touch on as well and kind of give a look to viewers? Each one of them is absolutely fantastic. It touches on so many things. Some I knew some about, some I didn't. But either way, the personal stories and how this reflects individuals, their families, their lineage, and the issues that they have personally felt related to a plight for human rights. I think they're all gems. One thing that's added is each one has a deep narrative from the artist that tells you why they made that specific piece and why that issue matters to them. I hope ultimately that this causes people to deepen their knowledge of human rights issues and come out having some meaningful discussions, which we're all trying to do right now around the world. And there's one behind me. Do you mind if we kind of sure, go look of at this one? This one has been drawing to my eye too, and I haven't got a chance to really come over here and read too much about it. Do you mind touching on this one? Sure. This is a this is a piece about Ruby Bridges and her plight for equal equal rights in education. Obviously, one of the themes that is being discussed right now is everyone having equal rights to education around the world. And this is a plight telling her story and how she fought for access to education in her time. Well, for those who are watching right now, this exhibit is going to be here till September 8th. So be sure to come check it out. There's still plenty of time and your hours are back to normal hours, too. So right. Right. yeah, we're open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday, one to five on Sundays. All right, well, thank you so much, Frank. And you know, Nick, I'm gonna stay around here for a couple more minutes and check out some more of these quilts. Definitely this Our Story exhibit is one to check out, but uh, over to you for the weather. Yeah, good morning, of course. Uh